Hello and welcome to another episode of Trains Out, and today we're at Peterborough on the East Coast Main Line. So you're going to be seeing services by East Coast, East Midlands Trains, Great Northern, Grand Central, First Hull Trains, Cross Country Trains, and then we're going to look at various freights as well. This is going to be a two-parter, the majority of what part one will be on this end of the world, and then part two will be down the bottom end, so you'll be seeing the Great Northern services that much more. Uh, there's a 321 down there, 3214 something something, if my eyes do not deceive me. On the front of this is 43300 Craig and Tinney. This is 43314 that will be forming a service bound for London King's Cross. Let's see what else should, should turn up. Okay, this service uh, is about ready to go. Again, our second service of the day is going to be 153 326 and the East Midlands train service bound for Lincoln. And then the next train after that is going to be a very, very slow Grand Central HSD. Okay, I'm about to pass by is said. Grand Central HSC. Also coming will be an East Coast service bound for Newcastle Central. Be one of the class 91 sets. Also to point out, either in towards the end of part one, or at some point during part two, the Sky One HD set is going to pass by, but it's not going to have the correct 91 on the front of it because that departed before I started filming. This is 91132. But as I said, the Sky One HD set should be making its appearance either towards the end of part one or at some point during part two. Okay, up there is a cross country Turbo Star. This service bound for Stansted Airport. And 91132 is about to kick into life, I think. Okay, that's 17638. And we have the DBT of H2 to 10. And I think we're about to have a 225 set. Thunder passed. Yes, we are. H2 
8228, sorry, 82228 and 91101, the flying Scotsman livery 91. Okay, and about to wind its way through is a double headed class 66 for Freightliner. Lead we have sixty six five seventy. We have sixty six five three two trailing P and O Ned Lloyd Atlas. There's these British trains 1.3 over there, bound for Liverpool Lime Street. Okay, we've got another East Coast 225 set coming in here with the service bound for London King's Cross. Eighty-two triple two is leading. So something else bomb pass, but I'm not too sure what. One eighty one one two for Grand Central. That's ninety one one two one. This is a service that originated from York. Hey, okay, I'm to believe there's a sixty six of some sort about to emerge. There's 91121 fires up. Hmm. Okay, that 66 is further away than I thought it would be. Ah, driver change, that's why. And it's a Deutsche Bahn Schenker 66. Sounds promising. Okay, she's now on the move.
66 139. <laughs> Go on, girl. About to have an East Coast HST thunder its way through. Two five one with two seven two with a really with a rather odd train there. One newly refurbished Mark Three with a load of old ones. Right, and at the top there, it looks like it's a pair of three six fives for Great Northern. The terminating service here at Peterborough. I'll get the first half and the rear half. I won't be able to get. Looks like it's a combination of Great Northern's new livery with First Capital Connects livery on the second set. This is 365525, forming the, well, sorry, forming brand, uh, branding, and words right for once, promoting, advertising the new livery, sporting the new livery. With the other 365, keeping its first Capital Connect livery, which I think looks a lot nicer. To be honest, it's just far more appealing than grey, white, and whatever other rubbish colours Great Northern have. And we've got another non stop East Coast 225 set about to thunder past me. Two two oh nine, that's one 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 two. Three eight oh six. a very very slow East Coast HST turning up it's 43 311 at the helm Something weird's going on. I got away from the driver though, so thank you very much for that. But for whatever reason... Yeah, I don't know. The Great Northern service departed a fair while ago, so... That shouldn't really be causing much of a problem. That was 43305, but the driver just looks completely stumped. Oh, well, there you go. A bit of excitement for the afternoon.
Now, I'm not going to lie, that would be a pretty cool place to film from. Just sit on a signal. Why not? It'd be great. Superb vantage points. Risk of getting blown off by the wind, but there you go. There's Don, the high visibility jacket, so the drivers can see you, and boom, you're away. Just an idea there. Okay, we've got a cross country. No, that's not. Never mind, ignore me. It was a, a Palio Greater Anglia service. But I'll catch more of those in part two. Anyway, forming a rather strange looking service is the Sky One HD Livery Class 91 with the standard grey Mark IVs and DVT. I really don't know why they do that. I want to just keep it as the full set. Makes no sense to me, but I know it and you know it. It's 91 125. Why this is so difficult? I mean, clearly, this doesn't need servicing. So why the hell remove it from the right set? Really? Why? Is the other 91 on that Sky HD set more powerful? Cleaner? I don't know. But apparently, East Coast deem it fit to muddle things around and confuse us. Nothing new there then. Okay, we have an East Coast HSD about to pass by. Forty-three, three one three, and two nine six. Okay, that's about ready to go. There's going to be a GBRF 66, 665, sorry, 66759 with the WBB Minerals train. Come on, 759, I have the faith in you. At some point, you will be overtaken, but. Keep going. Don't give up. So, 66759 is off. 91125 is disappearing off the leads. There's also a cross country train that has turned up as well. I think we've got everything turning up in the minute. Hopefully I caught the little, uh, two, this little tone there from the GBRF66, that's 82226. And what else have we got? Okay, the Cross Country Turbo Star is sitting pretty down there, you probably can't see it. A better Greater Anglia has just departed. So, that'll be the next one in. Unless there's a non-stopping service about to thunder past, but... Yeah, let's just wait and see. And we have another intermodal freight train there for Freightliner. Is it Freightliner? Ooh, no, is it? Oh no, no. It's just a really dirty GBRF66. And when I mean really dirty, I mean it's... Well, it's filthy. There's no ifs and buts about it. That thing needs a bath. So... It's 66746. I mean, just look at the thing. It's filthy as hell. That girl needs a right rush down. I'm guessing there's a driver changer. 
Yep, that's right. That's a fair length intermodal train that's got going off here. Okay, no, it's not a driver change. So I can hear a firing back up again. Uh, there is something in the distance. I can see a set of headlights. That's either an East Burden's uh, service. We're coming in here with a service that will be bound for Lincoln. Or it's another cross country turbo star. Or it's another East Midlands 153. Or it's First Old Trains, Grand Central. It could be anything. Hell, it could be the Easter money. You never know. And there's the turbo star. Service bound for Birmingham New Street. Go on, sir. Rev the nuts off the thing, why not? 17639. Okay, we've got an East Coast HST service bound for York pulling in. Down there are some jewel-headed EWS 66s on one of its uh, track washers. So there's a 67 down there, forming something. There's 43 315 leading the way. I'll get the other one when it leaves. Okay, what have we got here then? This is 67029 for Deutsche Bahn Schenker. Calling a failed set. I must admit, I missed the DBT. Not the end of the world. Looks like this is a service that originated from Glasgow Central, if I'm reading the uh, things on there right. <laughs> this is 91129 on the rear. Okay, I'm guessing that HST is going to be going in a minute. There she goes. It looks like this service is going to be leaving in a minute. I must admit, I wasn't expecting to see a 67, but it's nice that I did. It was the Diamond Jubilee. She goes.
and then we have another 225 set, a fully functioning 225 set. Eighty two two one one. The very clean 921105. Okay, and just coming to a hold, there's another service for Great Northern 321404, teaming up with another 321. Both still in their first Capital Connect liveries, but uh, as I was saying earlier, Abelio Greater Anglia and Greater Northern will feature heavily more within part two. And that is the sound of a 91 firing up for the service bound for London King's Cross. Now we have another East Coast service coming in, this one will be a service bound for Glasgow Central. So another 225 set. Ninety-one one one five. Laden races. This is a service originating from Leeds. There's a 66 for Freightliner as well. I'm going to try and cheat and get the numbers through the windows of these Mark IVs, if I can. Sixty-six. Uh, no. I couldn't see it. Oh, actually, hold on. No.
Okay, we've got a cross country turbo star coming in. One seventy one one four with the service bound for Stansted Airport. And we've got an East Coast 225 set about to pass by. Ninety one one two seven and eight two two oh seven. Another East Coast 225 set turning up. This is Sky One HD livery set with the wrong 91. It's 82216, waiting for the driver there, thank you very much. But let's see what abomination they've put in the rear of this then. Well, 91107, I might allow it. Here we have our East Midlands train service departing, 15388 something seven. One five eight eight four seven. And our final train of the day is going to be a first old trans Atlanta. One eighty one one three screaming away nicely there. As she thunders down towards Hull, I shall end part one there. Thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you've liked what you've seen in part one, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. I do answer them when I get the chance to. Uh, yeah, if you'd if you've got any tracks or locations or stations that you could recommend, then uh, just simply let me know, and then I shall mention your channel upon doing said stations. I have a few requests in that I will get around to. Some stations I haven't got high hopes in the in regards to being allowed to film there, but I'm gonna have a look anyway and see what happens because I've had previous in the past where. I filmed, filmed somewhere, and then someone's told me that once they've gone down there, they haven't been allowed to. So, not too sure how that one works. But either way, I'll try and get down to as many as I can, because I don't, I don't do this just for myself, I do this for everybody else as well, so they can see different stations around the country, and then they can choose themselves if they want to come down and do a bit of filming themselves, because there's no reason why they can't. I do this for everybody's entertainment. So until part two, I shall see you all later. Goodbye.